was my very first job application. I was offered a job and I was going to be typing, typing letters and typing lists of parts. Woman, gentleman, woman, gentleman, woman. The, all the women sat in front of the men and they worked for the men. What it was is property management and that's where I worked for 46 years. Everything that it took to build the Apollo was government property. So everything had to be accounted for. Being property, all of the other functions, engineering, logistics, purchasing, had to interact with us and had to come to us. They were very, very connected to the people who worked on this program. They knew so many people by their first name, everything. When they uh, actually landed on the moon, it was a, a, an exciting time for everybody. I was 22 years old. We did it. We did it. There were a lot of women working also that did a lot of, of uh, amazing things. I think my fondest memory is, as you see, the astronauts were very connected to the personnel. Every time they launched and returned, they would come back and they would have a ticker tape parade just at the facility and they would thank all, everybody. They would thank everybody for their dedication, hard work, you know, being conscientious, and that was amazing every time. My fondest memory is the quick handshake with Neil Armstrong, which could not be forgotten. There is a lot of interest out there in continuing on in space, and I think we should, because those are the things that bring the country and the world together. When I worked on the Apollo program, there were people from all parts of the world that worked at Downey. Every ethnicity, they were every religion, they were every color. We were all Americans working toward the same goal, and that was 50 plus years ago. And so for the children today, the girls, definitely go to college. Shoot for the moon, you know, it's like they can't hold back anymore. The 50 years of putting a man on the moon, that went really quick and it's one of the major accomplishments of mankind. Everybody has contributed in so many ways. But going to the moon, really? That was big. When you, when you think about it, it was a big, big thing. We are all in this together. No matter what you're doing, whether you're working on the Apollo program or you're cleaning up after all the workers have gone home, you're still valued. There's too much discrimination of every kind in the world today. Just because a person makes more money or they've got a better education or whatever. But when they say reach for the stars, you know, they're not kidding, you can. There's definitely more, more to come for women. If you wake up one day and you decide you want to become a brain surgeon or a manicurist, that's up to you. We have freedom of speech here but we need to have more of an emphasis of freedom for women.